the first car you ever owned. I know you're a big car guy. Love cars. A 65 Plymouth Fury with a 318, 50,000 actual miles. My dad got it to me for a hundred bucks. The whole passenger side was caved in, but the rest of it was perfect. And all of us Robbins Hill guys would pile in there and just go and see how much trouble we could get in. You could get six, seven guys in it. So, yep. Who was with your group at uh, Robbinsdale? Like, what what era were you in? Because I know you a mean lot of high high school? school. Yeah, seventy seven. Seventy seven. Here, here's okay. who I graduated with was Nikita Koloff. He thinks that's his name, but his name's Scott Simpson. Um, and then there's uh, 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 well, God, all of well, I shouldn't say if you group them, so you got to go 76 and 78. There's three years 76, 77, 78. 76, you had Brady Bone, 78, you had Barry Darso, um, you had Tom Zink, my year, you had uh, uh, man, they're. There's just a, I just, am, I can't even think of the guys. Uh, but the it was Road always Warriors cool. Year? Were the Road Warriors Kurt in Henning. Yeah, Kurt Henning. Kurt what about Rick Rude? Rude. Rude was our wide receiver on our football team. And, uh, and yeah, and, and, uh, and but Hegstrand and Norton were uh, at the high school next to us. They were a little more in the hood. And we were more in just the sub suburb, and uh, and one night at Robbins Hill McDonald's, Henning, uh, the window was down with Hagstrand's car, and Norton was driving, and Kurt popped him through the window like that, Mike, and hit him like that. Well, you know, Mike, I'm gonna fucking kill him, and uh. Kurt took off because that's what Kurt does. He, you know, you know, anywhere from taking a case of beer to uh, a stealing a cribbage board to anything. That's Kurt. That's what he did. He ran. He just he would take off just running. Kurt was run fast too, so you weren't going to catch him. So Hannibal, Monday morning now at school, here they thought the guy that punched Hawk was me. And because uh, all they seen was a sandy brown haired tall guy, boom. And uh, so they come in the school. This is all nuts, Scotty and uh, Mike are. They came in the school looking to kick my ass. And uh, uh, my principal was, oh, oh, John, there's a couple guys in the hallway uh, that uh, I don't think they're here to uh, say hi, just say hi to you or something like that. I says, what? And I know who they were. I mean, I, I knew them since maybe ninth grade, them guys. And, you know, I would have, I would have, you know, started fighting both of them to every freaking ounce of energy I had in me. But it never got to that. So, and, and, and thank God. But the main thing is, is that's just the kind of shit that happened. That That's a, actually a Kurt Henning story more than anything else. Was it true? I know you're very honest about who's tough and who isn't tough. Yeah. Is it true Rick Rude was the toughest of the Robbinsdale guys? Fuck no. Let me straighten everybody out on this shit. Rick had legs like a robin bird. You know, first of all, you can't have legs that skinny and be the toughest. Now, if you're going to fight, if 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 the whoever's going to win... It's the guy who usually gets the first two really good punches in. And then the guy's so wobbly and dizzy, you're probably going to win the fight. And Rick was good at that because he had always throw the first punch. But we talk about this once in a while. And now we've got the Robinson guys we get together that were actually a few of them they were in Brad's camp with me, but they, they just didn't stay in it. And they weren't, but. And they say the same thing about Rick. 
and I love Rick and he's uh and he's uh but the 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 legend's way off compared to what it is. Now would I would have would I would have wanted to get punched by him? God no. You know, he hit like a mule, just like Mike Hakestrand. Mike hit like a mule. Um, but overall toughness, no, he was way down the ladder.